Hello everyone, it's me Kevin, and I'm back with another review. So, um, yeah, I haven't done any Fallen Kingdom Lego sets. Now, I do have a few Jurassic World sets, I haven't reviewed them. Hopefully I will one day, but like, uh, you know. But until then, let's review a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom set which came out last year. And this one is the Carnotaurus Gyrosphere Escape. Now you can definitely tell I do not read the box before I start the video for some reason. I have no idea why. But uh, first off, this is a really big box. I don't know why they made it this big. Like, like what's the deal here? Like, why do you need to make it so big? Like, what the heck? Like, that's always baffled me here. Like, I, like, when I got the T-Rex box, like, the T-Rex set, like, the box wasn't that, like, the, it was more like this, like, smaller, like, right here somewhere, in a sense. Like, it's really, really big. Like, not tall, but, like, it's fatter, basically. But, uh, yeah, so, this is a Fallen Kingdom set, and I think this may be the best set out of all of them, with the exception of the Lockwood estate, but... Then again, it feels like the interior had has more to be desired there, but like, I don't know. Like, this is one of the best sets, though. And the reason for that is this guy. I, oh, it, like, when I saw this guy was going to be in the set, I was like, I need to get this set. Mostly because of the Carnotaurs. Another reason, because you get Claire and Owen. I do not have Claire and Owen at all. And I want to complete uh, my Chris Pat Pratt collection because I have Emmett, I have Star-Lord, so let's complete it with with uh, Owen. So, and it also includes Franklin and a baby dinosaur, a baby dino. I really like the box art where they have the, like, the Lego versions of the characters. Like, I want to see more of that, actually. Hopefully we get that with the Lego Harry Potter stuff, the Lego Star Wars stuff. Actually, wait, no, I think they already did that for the Lego Star Wars stuff. Anyway, here's the back, and, uh, you know, you get the vehicles that they use, like, the vehicle they used to get on the ship. Kind of wish they used the other vehicle, like, they used while they were driving around the island. I like that vehicle. I wish we could get that. But we have the gyrosphere, which looks so cool. You get Claire, the raptor, you know. And you get these dinosaurs here. You have the Carnotaurus, the Indoraptor, the raptor, Stingy Moloch. Tyrannodon and the baby dino. So enough talk now. Let's let's get this opened. I'd like to mention that I actually uh, that besides. The, Besides this set, I also got the Jurassic Park set, which I did review, which I'm glad I did. There's bag two, bag one, bag four, bag three, and bag five. We have two instruction manuals and a sticker sheet. Lovely. But uh, I like the sticker, like not the sticker sheet. I like the design of this better than the usual ones you get. You usually get the whole, oh look, you get the top top part on the instructions. But no, they actually uh, made it fit in more. Like, I really love this. Like. This is so cool. I don't know, like, I really love that. So that's great. Um, yeah, so you have the bag here. You have this. Yeah, let's just get started right now. I finally did it. I finally built the set. This took like an hour and uh, 
like an hour and like probably almost two hours probably. But uh, yeah, so Carnotaurus Gyroscape and this looks pretty cool. Now, um, hmm, I have no issues with it so far, but let's see how that turns out. So let's start off with our minifigure, Owen Grady. Now, um, now I did rewatch the movie like a few weeks ago. I think it was like last week and I don't remember Owen wearing this shirt, but maybe he did and I just don't remember. But uh, yeah, so it's, you know, this shirt, it has a little scratch there. You know, there's, de there's just a little detailing on the pants. And uh, there's a new face. Like, like, let's compare this Owen to the other ones. But first, look, like you have the smiley face and you have the very angry face. I don't know, it just looks, this looks like it's gonna be a murderer. Like what the game viewer painted in his uh, review. Like one of his reviews of the Legos. But yeah, let's get the main three out. So there's, there's a Star-Lord and Emmett and now Owen Grady. Alrighty, so Emmett is obviously different because this is a Lego form and, you know, like this is more based on the, you know, like the more happy average Lego figure. So we can't really do much comparison except looks like they both look like they're friends or something. I don't know why. But yeah, let's put that back over there and let's compare Owen to Star-Lord. Now, this Star-Lord came out, I'm pretty sure, like, before this one came out. I don't know which one came out first, but, like, these two were released on the same year. And they are very similar, but there's only one difference, like, besides the clothing and the, the guns he had. It's the face. Like, um... Hmm. They were so close to changing the face. Like, let me take off the hair pieces and you'll see. Like, uh... There's more detail on the face in general. Like, see? Notice he has sideburns and look at the... Look right here. Like, around here. You know, there's more, like, detail there. Or something like that. Here, it's not. It's more the same face they used for the Winter Soldier and, you know, for Chris Pat Pratt's characters in both Jurassic World and Guardians of the Galaxy before 2018. So those were the usual faces, but was, yeah, but now they changed it up to look more like this, which I'm really glad because I really like, I prefer this face over the other one. Like, I'm glad they did that. They gave it more of its own design. All right, I'll put you back. But yeah, so let's... Let's, uh... See Claire. Now, this is Claire. No detailing on the legs, but that's okay. Like, there's detailing on the back. I forgot to do the back, I'm pretty sure. For Owen. My bad. But... Yeah, I really like the hair piece. I don't know why. And as you see, she has a smiley face and the other is a scared face. Probably when she and Franklin are drowning or like nearly drowning in the gyrosphere or when they're about to be attacked by Baryonyx. And finally, Franklin. Now... I really like this, frankly. I don't know why, but I feel like this isn't the right hair piece for Franklin. Like, after seeing the movie, he has, like, a little more hair. I don't know why. Like, I don't know what, but it's just bothering me a bit, but, like, um, this is the Franklin now. Do you wonder what I kind of wish? I kind of wish they gave him his own laptop, because I'm pretty sure he had one in the movie. Like, I think this Franklin should have had a laptop. In my opinion. And I think... Oh yeah, he does have a gun. Never mind. But like... I don't know. That That's just me. And... 
you know, it would have been cool to have a laptop of Jurassic World's dinosaurs, like, around the island, but that's okay. So he has that, you know, kind of serious face. The other is when he's screaming all the time. But yeah, so those are all the characters, and let's look into the main attraction. Carnotaurus. This looks so cool. Now, this is the Carnotaurus. Now, the only really difference is the head design and the arms. Actually, wait, no, the arms are also used for stingy moment. But the head, oh my gosh, like a, that's really good. I love the head. And I love the spikes on here. Like, I think they're still from, they're from the Indominus, but I love it. Like, the arms, mm, I have two issues with the arms. One, I know that the Carnotaurus had very small arms, smaller than the T-Rex's arms. So it should have been like, you know, like the Carnotaurus arms are more like, like this, not like this, like a T-Rex, like this. So I will say I'm a dinosaur person, so I know this, but like the arms should be more smaller in my opinion. Well, actually, no, not my, yeah, it should be more smaller. Yeah, but well, I'll go to the other thing later, but like, this is a very good sculpt. Like, oh my gosh, they really got the face right. Like, geez, I love the paint job here. Although I will admit, it's supposed to be more red than like this, whatever this is, like brown-ish. It should be more red. You know, like the Mattel one got it more right, but that's okay, this is a very cool dinosaur. Like, I don't care for accuracy here, this is the first time we got a Carnotaurus. Like, I'm really glad Lego's actually trying to get more dinosaurs, because if there's one issue I have with their dinosaur series is they need new dinosaurs. Like, um, the only dinosaurs we have is the T-Rex, Velociraptor, Triceratops, and I said Velociraptor, I'm pretty sure. That's really it. Like, there's a Coelophysis as well, but, like, that's not much. Like, that's less than 10. But thankfully, Legos, Lego gave us the Stingy Moloch and the Carnotaurus. And they're going to make a Baryonyx as well, which is great. But there is one issue. Like, the Baryonyx has Sickle Claws. Unless that's for the, uh... Unless there's, like, something we don't know the Baryonyx, because it's based on the Isla Nublar. Legends of Isla Nublar, that does uh, kind of worry me that they actually cut the Baryonyx feet wrong. We'll, we'll see. But, yeah, so there's also detailing on the horns, which is great. Oh, sorry. I thought that was something, I thought that was something there that scared me. But, yeah, so... Hmm. Alrighty, so let's compare this to the T-Rex. They're so cool. Alrighty, so here's my biggest issue here. Now, I love these dinosaurs, but here's my biggest issue. This also goes for the Endoraptor. They're using the same size that they use for the T-Rex. Now, the T-Rex size, I think they got right. And the raptors, although a little too big, but since it's based on Jurassic Park, I let it slide. But the Carnotaurus is way a little too big. Like, it's almost like they're copying off the Disney Dinosaur one, where they just made it basically Carnotaurus, but it's a T-Rex, basically. Yeah, it's the same. Anyway, but what I mean is, like, the Indoraptor and the Carnotaurus are basically, have T-Rex size here, including the legs as well. Like... That annoys me so much. Like, the Carnotaurus in the movie is supposed to be smaller. Like, couldn't they just done that? Like, made the mold smaller, made the feet, like, smaller to the accuracy of the body? Like, that's my biggest issue I have. Like, like look at this. They're the same size. They're exactly the same size. Like, they really are. The only difference is the head and the arms. Like... Look at the arms. 
the T-Rex arms are longer, so I'm glad for that, but like, still, they should have used a new mole, like a new tail, a new body, and a new legs. Like, not like go crazy or anything, just make it like scaled down, like maybe around here. Like, let's get the gyrosphere. Like, scale it down around, probably around here somewhere. Like, maybe here, like, just make it smaller, at least. Don't make it as, like, big as the T-Rex. Like, like, if they did that for, like, if this was an Allosaurus instead, I would understand more, because it is, like, closer inside to the T-Rex, but, like, the Carnotaurus is not that big. It should be smaller, including the Indoraptor. It should be a little smaller. So that does annoy me, but besides that, this is still pretty cool. Now, let's get on to the set. Let's get on to the vehicle first. Alrighty, so this vehicle is actually, I'm gonna take this off. Like, this vehicle looks more like the ambulance from the Jurassic World Lego set, like in 2015. So, I think they just basically did that, but just changed it up a bit. But I still like it, it looks pretty cool. In fact, I think this may be better than that, because, like, you know, let's talk about the interior here. Now, first, this looks pretty cool. This really does look cool. I really like it. Like, first, the de there's more detail up here, which I really love. Like, there's more of a roof up here, which I love so much. Another thing is, there's more space for your figures. Like... That is one issue I thought the ambulance had. Now, I don't have the, like, no, it wasn't the ambulance, it was the vet. I don't know what it's called, but it was, like, the vet vehicle. And, like, the space was so limited. But here, it's more, there's, like, more room for you to put your figures in. Like, you could either sit them down, stand them up. Like, that's what I love here. Now, you just have a wrench, like, computer stuff and this. So, I guess... Franklin now has that, but I still wish he has a laptop. But in one suit, like in one of these drawers, is a bone and a dart, which makes sense because like um, they're catching dinosaurs. And I love this. I really love this vehicle. It looks so cool. This is a really well built vehicle, like. This is really good. Like, I keep getting lot. like, I have lots of vehicles, like, either, like, mostly cars and vehicle base, like, not so much, but, like, I do feel like I have them a lot. And this is really good. I love this detail. This makes me always wonder, why have we not gotten a Jungle Explorer one or the Jeep? We still need that. Like, we need more Jurassic Park sets. I may make a, like, a sets idea for them. So yeah, so that's ideas for Jurassic Park series. Like I'm gonna try to do that. But first I need to finish my Chamber of Secrets video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's really cool. Now, interior, like let's talk about the roof. I really love the roof. You could just pop out and say, hello. And you have this gun here as well. You also have a gun here and a shovel here. Now. The instructions said the shovel should be here, but the box says that it should be right here, the shovel, so they're inconsistent. <laughs> but then again, it doesn't matter, it's Legos, so you can move them around, do whatever. I love these mirrors here, like, you know, like, I really love that here. And the lights and everything, like, the detailing is so great. That's what I love about Legos. They, they're so detailed. Let's take off the top, and uh, there's really nothing else besides, hey look, there's a steering wheel, and just a space for two figures. But hey, at least there's space for two figures. Like, here's the thing. Like, um, did I just shoot that? Oh crap, gonna need to get it. Anyway, like I was saying, like, um, here's the thing, like, Lego figures usually can't sit in two seats like regular cars like 
even Claire, like, even when, uh, even in the Jurassic World, like, vet, like, vet vehicle, you couldn't fit two figures. You can only fit one. Now it's Claire. Here, you can actually fit two figures here. And you know what? I'm going to try that right now. Because I'm so tired of, like, vehicles that obviously have two seats, but they don't. But, you know, they don't have enough space for two figures at all. Like, this may be revolutionary. Oh, maybe not. Alrighty, so this is the best I can do. It's very hard to put two figures in, but they are trying. So that's good. I'll just take them out. Except I don't know and could try. I don't know, but that's okay. So yeah, so that's the vehicles, and I take the vehicles very ser like a little more seriously here in this series because they're they are like the best, like one of the best parts of the uh, Jurassic Park series, like. Yes, the dinosaurs are important. Yes, the figures are important. But the vehicles are important as well. So I'm glad we got that. Anyway, there's a few more stuff to go now. So, yep, sorry, T-Rex. Now you're going to have to go back to where you were. Look awesome right here. But yeah, so let's go here and let's talk about this. Now, this is... This is just a thing Lego made just so you can carry the gyrosphere across and like let's put the gyrosphere here. That's all it's meant for. That's it. Like nothing else. Like there's another thing this can do for the gyrosphere and uh it's this cool feature, I like it, but like you know, it's like this. You know, there's this red thing here. You push it and this happens. It pushes out the gyrosphere. And I like that feature. It's pretty cool. I really like it. Like, this is... This is a nice addition to the set. Like... Would I... If this wasn't included, would I lose sweat? Probably not. Like, one, because this vehicle doesn't exist in the movie, so... That's okay. I like it. Let's talk about the gyrosphere. It's, like, rusty. It's... Like, look at it. Like, it has this orange around it. Like, I really love that. There's this crack windshield. You know, there's like two actually. Like, I really love that they added more detail. Like, if you put a figure in which you just take those two pieces out and plop that off and roll it, like this, like, sorry, I got it wrong. It's like this, something like that. And it's pretty cool. I love it. Like, you have to really build this right, though, or you'll mess it up, but you could, yeah, but you could put a figure in here, Franklin or Claire, if you want to make it movie accurate, or Owen escapes the island without them. Oh, no. I don't know, like, kids will have lots of fun times with this, because it's fun. I really, I really think this is a fun build, and it's also a fun set for kids, because, like, they can drive a vehicle, go to the forest, and speaking of that... Let's look at this. Now, one thing I love here is the sign. Now, they are stickers, so you're gonna have to be very good at placing stickers, or at least good enough. And, oh, I really love the whole gyrosphere, and there's a gyrosphere up there. I really love that. Now, close, there's a thing here for the gyrosphere, so I'll put it in. Oh yeah, I also have the gyrosphere from the Indominus Escape, so if I do do a review, I'll compare these two. 
Like maybe I'll compare the two or I'll, I don't know, we'll see. But I'm going far ahead of myself. But like, um, there's a red thing here as well. You push it and it also goes out. Same thing that they did for the Indominus Escape. So, yeah, so there's two more things here. One is, there's a nest with a baby dinosaur. You could pretend it's a Carnotaurus's nest. Or you could pretend it's gonna be Carnotaurus's lunch. But there's three eggs and a baby dinosaur. Like, I don't know, I imagine it might be a compi or something, but maybe Lego should do that, like a Lego compi. But yeah, that's, that's the set there, but before we end it, there's lava. Now there's a red thing right here. You pull it, and this, this happens. Lava spews all over the table. Now, okay, if you want to see how it works, oh, whoops. Like, okay. So, if you look at the bottom here, this thing keeps it in place. Not perfectly, but in place. But once you pull it, it goes down. That's how it works. Oh, frick. That's the set, and now I'm gonna go to my final thought. Alrighty, so, hmm. Now I thought about it, and I have to say, it's a really good set. Now, hmm. It's pretty good. It's just, um, I guess my only qualm or, like, my only issue is probably the Carnotaurus thing I said. It just looks a little too big. Like, make it just a little smaller. Like, that's my big issue with the Indoraptor and the Carnotaurus. Like, it does bug me just a little bit. And I do kind of wish that you could fit two minifigures in there. But, hey, maybe that's why the top thing is in here. You could put the second figure up there, which I guess is nice. But, uh, yeah, so this set's really good. Like, uh, if you're a Fallen Kingdom or Jurassic Park fan, you should probably get this. Because uh, it's a really good set. Like, um, like, for Jurassic Park fans, I think you should also get this. Like, I know, like, like, the critics didn't like the movie, but, like, fans, but many fans actually do love Fallen Kingdom, uh, as I know, so. Yeah, like, even if you're not a fan of Fallen Kingdom, I do think you should still get the set because of the Carnotaurus. You know, you do get three good minifigures. You get the, you get two of the main characters, and you also get Franklin. You know, you get the vehicles... Like, these two vehicles, and including the gyrosphere. Like, that's pretty cool. And you also get this area, which I love as well, so. Like, it looks really cool, but I think the main reason people are going to get it is the Carnotaurus stand. Even though I did say I wish it was smaller, I do still love it. It looks, like, look at it. It looks so cool. Like, yeah, this is the one thing people are going to want the most out of any of these, so go get this set like it's really cool like you like Jurassic Park fans are gonna love it and hey if you're just a dinosaur fan still get this because I do feel like you get like a cool land area and also some vehicles and a dinosaur that's a good deal in my opinion like I think that's what many people want a vehicle uh like some land area and a dinosaur that's that's per that's like a great it's like a great deal so go get this now like, it's around $70, but the price did lower down, so I think you should, like, it may be a little too expensive for some people, but, like, it's still a good set to get, so go get it. But, yeah, so that's my thoughts on the Fallen Kingdom Jurassic World set. Uh, What do you guys think? Do you guys think I should get more? Well, no, no, I'm not getting more. Well, I actually may get more, but, like, let me know. Do you think I should get more Fallen Kingdom sets, or do you guys want me just to review the Jurassic World sets? That I have here. But, uh, yeah. So, something else I'd like to say is that I'm working on my Lego Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets set ideas. Like, I've been working on it since November, but I forgot to work on it that much. So, I'm almost done right now. I'm almost done with the last set idea part. So, uh, so it may be out this week. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this set. And, uh, yeah. And roll this review and see you later. Bye.